distinctive shape tells me this is the rare endangered Malay Island mop handle tree. Several hours later. shouldn't loot the bodies right away. Technically, we're into November Sniper now. ambush. Oh, God damn it. Oh, shit. Not now. Add snipers to the list, apparently. backyard here, sir. Dead. Oh, I got the mandibles. Oh my god, Uthgard, what the heck? <laughs> what on earth is wrong with her? This is kind of hilarious. Okay, that's a new combat technique I had never considered before. We've had a redemption for a terrible pun or dad joke. Brace yourselves. How did the police end up catching the man who was on the run in the bathroom? He stood on a set of scales and gave himself away. That was not me. I didn't do Isaac Clement. Together, we'll create the most spectacular dinosaur park imaginable. And hopefully not die in the process. <laughs> really, I don't want to die. Push power button. Push auto nav button. Pull throttle. <laughs> Please buckle your seat belt first. Buckle seat belt. Done. Pull throttle. Your door is a do jar. No, my door is a door. Closed pod door. Done. Pull. Uh oh. <laughs> I was literally typing it. 
Gosh, Roger, it would appear you have met an untimely demise. With the explosive destruction of the Arcata, you become part of a fresh collection. More like someone. <laughs> You have to forgive Erend, he's discovered the far future version of Spotify. What are you doing up there? Oh, you're trying to... Let's see what happens when he tries to light it. <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing! <laughs> I didn't know that was what they trapped it with. None shall pass. Ah, a red herring. Pass. Ah. Oh, you picked a very good time to show up again, Uthgur. Thank you. Hey, maybe you can use your saber to make another bridge. What an idea. That's wacky. Who to thunk? Great, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> It just isn't done. What humiliation will you use on me next? A comb? <laughs> uh, okay, relax. No toothbrush. Sheesh. Try to use something else to cover up that smell, okay? Stay away from anything that's smart enough to lock you in a cage this time. How about a Rancor Burger? I'll take care of it as soon as I can, Mission. For now, let's stay focused on the task at hand. got the override code. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. That's an excellent idea. When you desperately need all troops available at your side, be sure to lock them in their rooms and force them to use an override that they may It's all good. Gotcha. Now watch a courier show up again. Imagine, if you will, taking a bath in sulfuric acid and using pumice for a washcloth. After that bit of displeasure passes, it gets much worse as the acid slowly eats its way to the last critical organs. Finally, mercifully, death takes you. I did it. Okay. What? Oh my god. Maybe, Carne, maybe. It's okay, Bacon took it out. Wait, who just did... I got him? Wow. That's amazing. Maybe archery doesn't completely suck up.
Dramatic much? Wow game. There you are. What? Ruined. That was a perfectly lined up shot. This one cannot possibly fail. Oh, is that a feather? What? Pro feather. Oh, that's some kind of... Oh, it's weed killer. That's the stuff I wandered into early. Now you come with. Oh, and this is the one. Okay. Leave her alone. Yeah, yeah. Debuff removed. Indecisive swings. Is that the headless horseman running beside his horse? We've stopped. What is it? Chasing his horse. I've never seen this before. That's amazing. I know farmers and horses by Die. Thank you. Holy sh! Seven misses. More misses than anyone else, but fewer bads. Good evening, folks, and welcome back to the Library of Lore. How are the audio levels? Did I manage to fix it? What's going on? I hope everyone's doing well. It's good to see you, Dova and Anstara. I've uh, been playing since 2.6 and 2.5 all the way to 3.5, then it went downhill for performance. Audio is good. Excellent. Thank you. Currently trying to save money to build a computer to be able to play Star Citizen, the only game I have 680 bucks backed into. Very nice. I have two ships at the uh, at the ready at the moment. I will show them both off, although we're going to focus on the one in the book cover for the game that I've got there, the Aurora MR. So, let's see if we can make this work. I'm not necessarily convinced that this is going to work. Hey, Vikings, how's it going? Winters, what's going on? Uh, okay. So this is going to take a little bit. I'm doing all right, Vikings. How are you doing? It's good to see you here. I hope all is well. Your main flyer is Cutlass Black. Well, I have the Aurora MR. I have never flown it. I only I spent a few hours yesterday exploring Orison 
trying to figure out where the hangars were so that I could retrieve my ships, I finally found them. And I think I even kind of sort of maybe possibly remember where they might be. So we might be able to do that, but we're not even going to worry about the ship. At first, we're going to do a little bit of a walking tour of the neighborhood I live in. And we're going to do that because I need to shop. I've only I bought a few things. I've got the multi-tool and I've got the tractor beam attachment for it. And I've got some other thingy. Uh, but I need to probably get some weapons for myself. And we might get a few ship upgrades too. We'll have to see. Just playing Pathfinder, so going to leave a lurk. We'll talk to you later. No problem, Vikings. Have a good one. All right, so. Let's see here. Uh, we may also need to adjust. Actually, this is not running too bad. Seems better than it was yesterday. How's the audio still? Is it good? Is it too loud? I think we're all right. Okay. Audio is fine. That one clip where you beeped out a swear is funnier than if you had just left it uncensored. That's why I did at Winters. I might make a habit of that, honestly. <laughs> I kind of liked that one. Okay. So, this is my swanky apartment. We're going to go to Green Circle Lobby. And we're just going to do a brief walking tour of where I live. So, we've got a pretty fancy lobby going on here. I don't think I've ever actually visited the second floor. Wait, there's a spa here? Nobody told me there's a frickin' spa. That's amazing. Look at this. Wow. It's a shame you can't seem to do anything other than stand ankle deep in the water with no bathing suits. But still, cool. I haven't seen very many of the ships that are available yet, though I eventually want to get one of the, like, 300 eyes or 600 eyes or something like that. Unless I find something shinier that piques my interest. We'll have to see how it goes. I'm not too worried about it. Okay. Who was August Dunlow? So that's my building. I'm just going to assume that I own it personally. The 100i is nice, you own that. You also own all space bikes. Okay. One fun place that I've spent more time exploring than I probably had any reason to is over this way. Uh, this is the transit system for the city I'm in. That's why it took me several hours to find the hangar that you get your ship in, because it's on a different floating space island than the one that I live on. And I needed to use transit to get there, and there are a bunch of different places you can go. So there was quite a bit of uh, travel time involved in getting there. I, I think I kind of know roughly where it is now. If I'm not mistaken, it's up over there somewhere that we have to go. So we're just going to take a little bit of a tour of the Crusader Industries showroom. It'll just be a fast tour because, you know, it costs millions of credits for anything that you can buy here, which I will not be spending anytime soon because I don't have nearly that much money. Yeah, I'll warn you right now, Dova. I'm not going to know most of what you're talking about. I am a complete noob to this game. The very first time I ever loaded it up was the day before yesterday. And I've never been anywhere other than this city. 
and most of my time has been spent in this room. Except for, you know, the transit time looking for the hangar and whatnot. So these are some of the ships that you can actually buy and fly around. No worries, Dova. I'm not saying you shouldn't talk about anything. I'm just warning you in advance that if you're ever looking for a big reaction to an exciting piece of news, you can probably expect that I'm just not going to know what you're talking about yet. Okay, I don't know how to use this elevator, actually. That looks like that should be an interactable panel, but there's a cover over the elevator and it doesn't seem to be something I can do anything with. Oh, let's get rid of chat. We don't need chat. We're talking about the in-game chat. We have obviously need Twitch chat. Okay, so I don't know that we can really explore this ship in particular. Where was the other one? I was able to go around. Maybe it's that one? There was another one that I was able to visit a lot more thoroughly. Do you know how to use your inner thought, which is what you use to interact with certain things? I don't know what that is. Ah yes, I believe this is the one I was in. So you can explore this one much more freely than the other one, if I'm not mistaken. Although, the lights seem to turn off and on at weird random times. I don't remember going here. the lift. Hmm. It was working better yesterday. Well, maybe we'll just explore my own ship instead of looking around at the showroom floors. Consoles make you use your phone to chat instead of the controller? How do you mean, Patriotic? But yeah, some of the ships are pretty sizable. And these are very, very small ships. Even the big ones are very small ships. I've been watching Smashly play uh, Star Citizen for a little while now. And some of the ships that you can potentially own eventually are the size of or bigger than cities. <clears throat> oh, are you talking about... You're talking about Twitch, Patriotic. That is weird. Let's get out of here. We don't really care too much about this. Not yet. Once I've got money, maybe. Money would be good. Okay, so we have to wait for a shuttle. I should check some stuff, just make sure I still have my things. Okay. Yeah, I need weapons. 
but I've got the multi-tool, I've got the tractor beam attachment, and the mining attachment. I really don't have much of anything else. The next shuttle is approaching the station. Last call for passengers. The shuttle is preparing to depart. Please clear the hatch. Shuttle will be departing. I kind of forgot to do some shopping, but that's okay. There are places to shop where we're going anyway. Seems like a cool game, played it with the free-to-play days, pretty much ended up me stuck in space and crashing the ship. I mean, good times. Oh, I don't think we want to go this way. There's going to be a lot of exploration, because even though I did exploration yesterday and found a bunch of stuff, that doesn't mean that I know my way around yet. So bear with me. then proceeded to hit Alt F4 and delete the game. Wow. Ah, okay, we can do our shopping here. Um, I'm not gonna worry about the clothing so much. I could use a backpack though. I don't think they do weapons here, do they? This is where I got the multi-tool. Um, people charge in real life to give people an in-depth rundown of the game. It's kind of crazy. People will go all out and buy a joystick just to drive the ships. That's not crazy at all. That's actually extremely common. My dad has a joystick set up for playing Microsoft Flight Simulator. That's not a store. Or at least if it is a store, it's not the store I need. And, oops. back here. That's not what I want. Oh, this way. Cousin Crows, that's what we want. I mean, I play enough mech simulator games and 
space flight simulator games and possibly Microsoft Flight Simulator. That I would actually love to get uh, proper Hi. control set up for Thanks them. Thanks for coming in. I'm not going to do it anytime soon, but I would love to. Okay, that's ship weapons. We don't need that yet. I want to make sure I've got personal gear first. Where the heck do you get personal weapons from? That's an actual question, by the way, if anybody happens to know. I would love to be able to buy proper handguns and whatnot. Unless maybe I actually can do it here. Vehicle weapon systems miscellaneous. No, uh, that's all ship stuff. I went for one of the $65 ones, Mr. Soggy Ramen. One of the ones that gives you access to the uh, Squadron 42. That's not the way. We might need to go back to the island that I live on. Hang on. with the, as far as the ship goes, I went with the, what the heck? How do I get out of here? Is it here? Oh, never mind. Okay, we're good. with the Aurora MR. Just to start. It's a cheap starting ship that's got some cargo capacity. I also had another ship from buying a video card ages ago. But it's a racing ship that has no cargo capacity at all. It would be really hard to make any money with it. You are now free to proceed as normal. Thank you, and have a great day. Okay. Um... Cloudview Center. That's where we want to go back to. The next shuttle is approaching the station. Now I think that one's going to the upper platform. Last call for passengers. The shuttle is preparing to depart. That would be ours. The next shuttle is approaching the station. Okay, we do have ads running. But since this is a continuous game... Last call for passengers. The shuttle is preparing to depart. The next shuttle is approaching the station. Please clear the hatch. Shuttle I'm not going to worry about it too, too much, because we're just doing travel time right now anyway. Last call for passengers. The shuttle ships is can be complicated from what I hear. You need specific ships for specific types of scenarios. That's kind of the impression I get. You can also get generalist ships, they just won't be as good at those particular types of scenarios. Well, yeah, but you don't have to pay IRL money, Patriotic. You can earn the stuff in-game. You have to buy a starter pack package, which basically means you're buying access to the game. And that'll generally give you a ship, but um, you don't then have to go and pay real money if you want more re actual ships in the game. You can earn them in-game. Approaching next station. If this is your stop, please prepare to disembark. Last call for passengers. The shuttle is preparing to depart. Oh, that's very possible, Patriotic. There might be very specific ships that you have to buy with real money. Like, the racing ship that I have, you can't get it at all anymore. You were able to get it a decade ago. It was a cross-promotion deal that they had running with AMD. You got it by getting an R7 or an R9 video card, and you would get a code to get the ship. 
which means it's extremely rare these days because those haven't been sold in a long, long time. Now, I've got one, and I was told, don't ever get rid of it because <laughs> you can't get it again. Okay. I think this is mostly clothing. Oh. That's Hi, cool. welcome. Uh excuse me, I think your showroom floor is glitching out a little bit, just so you're aware. I believe so, yes, Mr. Soggy Roman. You can also be a bounty hunter and, uh, you know, take out people that pirate ships. Okay, I'm not sure there's anything of interest up here. Personal weapons, there we go. Okay. Nope, it is not on Steam. Alright, let's go for the pistol. Good purchase. Thank you. Magazine size 13, effective range 30 meters, class ballistic, doesn't give a whole lot of detail. Optics barrel and under barrel, okay. This is also so early access, you can't even really call it early access. It's like alpha. So that's another thing that's worth noting, uh, is that there is likely to be a great deal of bugs and issues. Though that said, I haven't really experienced too much myself. Sniper Rifle Magazine. I like the sound of that. Alright, you know what? I got the pistol. I'm not going to worry too much about the rest of the stuff right now. I think that's probably good. Unless people know of something else I need to do. Wow, pie. Uh, ooh. To do the jokes... I have to tab out. That's potentially asking for trouble. I'm going to do this one, then I just... I might not be able to do future ones after this. Just to be safe. Just for today. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see. All right. Why did the man lose his job at the massage parlor? He rubbed everybody the wrong way.
Okay. Glad my computer decided to stop buffering stream in time for the joke. That's a good thing. I am glad too. Sorry, you're having some trouble. That's what a lot of people are doing, Mr. Sagi Raman. I have zero interest in Sons of the Forest. I have less than zero interest in Sons of the Forest. I don't like the forest. Uh, before I started upstream, I was hanging out with not one, but two people who were both playing Sons of the Forest. It does look like the game has received a number of updates and you know they've done a lot of things differently and done a lot of things better looks like a dramatic improvement over the first game but i still haven't seen anything that makes me suspect that i would actually enjoy playing it so no it's looking like a really good game that's not at all for me the next shuttle is approaching the station I'm afraid it's going to be like Escape from Tarkov and always be in beta. It's not in beta yet. The shuttle is preparing to depart. It hasn't gotten to beta yet. Star Citizen Please, is shuttle alpha is or even pre-alpha right now. Mad, how's it going? Oh, thank you, Mad. I will hydrate again. Now, let's see if I can find where the hangars are. Actually, you know what? I don't think we're going here. Um, this is... No, this is... Approaching next station. If this is your stop, please prepare to disembark. No, we're going to stay on this. Last we're going to stay here, because I don't think this is where is the spaceport is. I think we want the next one over. Please clear the Oh, hatch. thank you, Matt. Shuttle will be departing. Given the scale and scope of what they're attempting, Mr. Sagi Raman, that's not as unlikely as you might think. I actually would not be terribly surprised. The key thing that made me suddenly a lot more interested in it is that it's playable now. on the spaceport. That's what we're looking for. Okay. Approaching next station. If this is your stop, please prepare to disembark. You'll probably need to be a little more specific, Pilatius. Define funkiness. Last call for passengers. The shuttle is preparing to depart. Yes, it is meant to be translucent patriotic. That's intentional. Ah, yeah, that's been going on for a long time, Pilicious. I'm not sure what's causing it.
Thank you, Dova. Come back soon. Alright, well. Fines and citations payment system. Jim, thank you so much for coming in with the raid. How are you doing this evening? I appreciate it, Pilatius. Jim, how are you doing tonight? Thank you so much for bringing your folks over with the raid. What were you up to? Let me get you shout outs. What have we got here? I'm glad to hear that, Jim. Uh, make sure, guys, if you're not following Jim Racer, I'm sure most of you already are, but just on the off chance that there are some of you who might not be, make sure you go give him a follow. He's been a longtime friend of the channel, really awesome content creator. And, oh, how is Kerbal Space Program treating you? I love Kerbal. I am really looking forward to hearing about Kerbal Space Program 2. I know that's launching sometime in the... Did that just come out today by chance? Or is it tomorrow? Orbital mechanics were breaking Jim's brain. That's awesome. Uh, but yeah, uh, make sure you go give him a follow. I'm looking forward to hearing about two. I will be getting and playing two. I don't know exactly when. It depends on how much is implemented in the initial release because I know it's coming out in early access. But uh, yeah, make sure you're following. Now, for those of you just coming in, my name is Gord McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of mostly single-player story-driven games with excellent character and narrative development, as well as some strategy games, sandboxy games, retro RPGs, classic adventure games, and every once in a while, I throw in actual real-world LEGO builds as well. So if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button, and I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly. Hopefully, it won't scare too many of you away. Come on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. No oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that was. Let's go for it. Oh. Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. May still be coming, actually. Wow. 
There you go. That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around here. So we're doing some Star Citizen tonight. I'm brand new to the game. We're trying to figure out where they hid the uh, spaceport so that I can get my ship out and fly for the very first time. I didn't realize Kerbal Space Program had tutorials. That's fun. <laughs> I might have to look at those sometime. Maybe, you know, maybe the ones in uh, Kerbal Space Program too. Who knows? One thing I like to do is play in creative and see how fast I can crash a missile into the moon. That's the only way that I've ever reached the moon in Kerbal Space Program is accidentally crashing into it. Oh, there it is. They hid it behind a pillar. Of course they did. Welcome to the ASOC Vehicle Retrieval System. Okay, we're going to look at the Mustang Omega because a lot of people don't know about it because it hasn't been available for a freaking decade. This is an exclusive ship. You can't get it anymore. So we're not going to fly it. We're just going to look at it. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Hangar 7. Please okay. visit us again. Goodbye. Uh, come on, game. There we go. Hangar 7, by some odd coincidence, is the one that I was brought to yesterday. I was also looking at Star Citizen. Maybe you'll try that next week. Very nice, Jim. I've been having fun with it so far, even though I've never left this city, let alone this planet. So, this is my fancy ship that I got with my old AMD R9 video card that I actually started streaming using. And then a few years ago, I upgraded to the 1080 and haven't uh, used it since. But I got this ship at the same time that I got that card. This is a racing ship. It has no cargo capacity at all. So it, it would be very difficult to try to make any money with this. Although, it might be possible to manually stuff some cargo in the back there, I guess. But uh, yeah, that's about that. Oh, they have... Wow. They have medical facilities right here. That's interesting. Now I have to figure out how to get back and summon the other ship. Okay, so it's just here. Almost certainly, Mr. Zagi Raman, but they are out of luck. I'm keeping it. There are tutorials that cover construction, maneuvering basic orbital mechanics, and then doing the translunar injection, plus others covering the adjusting the trajectory of an asteroid. Oh, damn. Well, my one claim to fame in Kerbal Space Program so far beyond creating a variety of really ill-advised, uh, you know, ground vehicles that shouldn't work and usually don't is that I did live on stream one time accidentally crash a test rocket into the moon, which is made all the more impressive by the fact that I was not testing my ability to reach the moon. I was trying to see if I could generate enough force to simply break atmosphere and get off of Kerbin and into space. Suffice to say, the test was successful in that regard at least. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Crusader Industries, proud history of transport. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Please visit us again. Goodbye. This uh, ship utilizes award-winning uh -oh. manufacturing techniques and the okay. highest quality parts to create one thing. 
It seems to hitch every time I do that, and it makes me think the game's gonna crash. That was the Mustang Omega. that they're so interactive. Okay. Come on. There we go. Okay, so the reason I picked this particular ship is that, um, there, yeah. It has a bed which is important for being able to save the game and exit wherever you happen to feel like. A lot of ships don't actually have that. Hey, Sketchy. It's going all right. How are you doing? Okay. So this is literally as far as I got yesterday. I sat down in the pilot seat and then I just immediately quit the game. I don't even know how to get out of the pilot seat. I, I have no idea. So, ship startup. Use interaction mode F to start up your ship. Look for the flight ready cockpit button. Shortcut R. Okay, gear, VTOL, lots of stuff. Um. Also, don't know how to take off. Bulldog power, bulldog power. Presumably those are shipborne weapons. Is this anything like FTL? Uh, have you seen FTL? <laughs> I, I, I don't know enough about this game yet but I do feel confident in saying that no, it's nothing like FTL except that they both take place in space. Uh, thank you, Sketchy. There you go. Also thank you of testing out either Elite Dangerous or Everspace 1 or 2. I loaded up Everspace for the first time in seven years the other day and immediately blew my ship up and cost me a hundred thousand credits. I quickly realized I don't remember how to play it all. Um Okay. I have no idea where the button I was looking for is, but the shortcut R does seem to work to some degree. Ship movement. WASD controls your cardinal movement. Um... I kind of... Oh. Hang on. Maybe I should... Look at the keybinds. Uh, flight. 
Has your star gained its citizenship? Yes, that's all it's done. I don't know how to take off yet. Or actually, I guess, technically, I know how to take off. I don't know how to request clearance to take off. I don't know how to get them to open the doors. And I don't know how to do anything else. Um, I don't know how to land either. So I'm right now flying inside of the dock. <laughs> you should just quit playing Star Trek Online. Why should you quit playing Star Trek Online? That doesn't seem like a thing that you should do. How are you doing, Greeny? How are you feeling? I was worried about you the other night. I hope you're doing better. Uh, space break is X. Okay. That seems like a good one to know right now. Sleep helped good. Ship weapons to open doors. That's probably a bad idea, Cobravin. I want to say that's maybe a bad idea. Uh, I could try nine hail target. I just don't know that I have a target. Cycle all targets, seven. Okay. Console, pause options, star map, cycle camera view. Landing mode toggle. Okay, so N, that might also be a good idea. Or LN for auto land. I don't know what LN means, though. Proper sleep, gotcha. Yeah, I can't scroll back, unfortunately, Sketchy. If you could repeat it, that would make it easier for me. It's uh, awkward to tab out of this game. Okay. Nope. Landing gear deployed. I apparently don't know anything about playing space games. Well, you're not going to learn by quitting. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Uh. <laughs> Uh, I apologize, guys. Ads are in progress, and I, I don't know about doing the clip thing while we're playing a game like this. Um, nope, not F1. I'm no expert, but this seems bad. This does seem a little bit bad. Use left shift to activate boost and overclock your thrusters for higher maneuverability. <laughs> oh no, Candlejack. Candlejack, welcome in. How's it going? Um, how are you doing, Candlejack, guys? If you're not following Candlejack... Oh, thank you very much, Greeny. I appreciate it. Make sure you go follow Candlejack. He's been a friend of the channel for quite some time now. It's so good to see you, Candlejack. What's going on? I hope you're doing well. Uh, we are making a royal mess of everything in Star Citizen. I am flying for the very first time. Unfortunately, I don't know how to actually exit the hangar, so we're flying inside the hangar and doing a very poor job of it. What is going on? What? How, how's everything going? Zuzu, what's going on? Welcome on in. We just saw you almost boost into the blast doors. That's correct. I'm guessing, but the panel of the left says open comm channel. Okay. Um, 
Guys, if you are here for the very first time, my name is Gordon McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of mostly single-player story-driven games with excellent character and narrative development, as well as some strategy games, sandboxy games, retro RPGs, classic adventure games, and every once in a while I throw in a LEGO Builder too. So if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button. I do also have a little bit of a raid video to welcome you in properly. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that Let's go for it. Oh. Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. May still be coming, actually. There you go. That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around here. Uh, yeah, so we're going to have to relaunch the game. It crashed on me, which, like I said in chat, maybe for the best, given how badly I mucked up that takeoff. So, yes, I would very much appreciate a little bit of help getting out of the hangar and into space. That's not how I pictured my first flight going, though in retrospect, I really guess I shouldn't be surprised. All right, so we're getting the uh, game going. It's going to take a little bit to load, and then we have to get from my apartment back to the hangar again. So I hope you guys are willing to bear with me. Oh, one other question, Candlejack. I bought a pistol. Does it come with a little bit of ammo at least, or do I have to get that too? Oh, that's no. Star Citizen, what are you doing? You're on the... <sighs> it's now decided it wants to be on a different monitor. Hang on here. Okay. I have it back where it needs to be now. Typically comes with one mag. If you go to add friends there and add candle jack, we can see one another. Ah, it's okay. I don't want to overtax myself just yet. According to your N7 shirt there, sir, you should be well acclimated to space. Yes. I actually have a deep love of these kinds of space games going back to the 80s and the original Elite, 
I've just never played this one before, and it's ridiculously complicated. And Candle Jack, I would actually be, um, I would love to add you as a friend. I just want to stick to solo on stream, if that's okay. Internet says open comps and call the station. Yes. I, I know the protocol. Knowing the protocol and knowing how are two very different things, though, it turns out. Yeah, I'm not too worried about learning quickly. I mean, I literally spent two, three, maybe possibly even four hours literally just wandering around the city yesterday trying to get a feel for how the place was laid out and what was available. The hardest part is getting to your ship. Yeah, that's why it took four hours. <laughs> and getting out of the hangar and getting back. Yeah, yeah, getting back is the other trick. We'll get there eventually. I'm, I'm pretty well acquainted with my starting island, at least. And I'm halfway familiar now with the shuttle system to get around to other parts of the city. I don't know, Zuzuzan. I didn't look at it. Why do you ask? It usually takes a little bit. Although we are just now starting to maybe get to the point where it seems to be a little bit more than usual. Uh, I can always try quitting out, I guess. I have never had it do that thing where it wanted to appear on a different monitor before. Hmm. Hang on, I'm gonna force quit. Sometimes you can get stuck in loading screen. If you hit escape and the menu shows up, then you're stuck in that loading loop. Okay, let me try that then, instead of just force quitting. Uh, no, it's giving me the option to return to menu. Unless this is the menu you, you uh, wanted. So we can, I guess, just exit. Okay, well, let's just relaunch it then. That's okay. It seems like it's alpha or even pre-alpha, so I'm not going to hold it to particularly high standards of performance. It's playable. That's a big step up from 2014 when I got my ship, so... I'm willing to deal with the occasional issue. Twelve years and half a billion dollars on this game so far, judge as you will, yeah. Well, I love what they're going for with it. Like, I was a big fan of the original Elite way back when. Okay. Let's see if it works a little better this time. Speaking of ships, you should show off the special ship right quick when you actually load in. Yeah, okay, why not? I do have a ship that you can't get anymore, which is kind of fun. I've got the Mustang Omega. Oh no, not Elite Dangerous Candlejack. Elite. Just Elite. Full stop. Complete name of the game right there. Elite Dangerous is like the fourth or fifth game in that franchise.
Okay, this is taking a while again. I have a bad feeling about this, although it does stop periodically, so it might still be going. They have a ship that's an homage to Elite in this game? That's awesome. Oh, is it? Nope. Mm, come on. You can do it, Chip. I believe in you. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, the original Elite, it was actually very, very similar to Elite Dangerous in its early days. Except that the graphics obviously didn't look very nice. They were from the 1980s. It was pure wireframe, very low detail. But they had basically all the same ships and all the same gameplay. Which is one of the reasons I was always vaguely disappointed by Elite Dangerous. They made it look really pretty, but it was fundamentally the same game, and I really hoped they were going to do a bit more than that. Well, presumably the galaxy was a lot bigger and dangerous as well. I mean, I think they were going for, like, basically recreating the same galaxy this game does, the whole Milky Way, which I'm pretty sure they weren't doing in 1980, or, you know, the 80s, I should say. We're in the same server? That's awesome, Zuzo. Uh, oh. I kind of automatically went to the shop. Actually, maybe while I'm here. You said my gun came with one mag. I should probably pick up a couple more. Not that I actually hope that I'm going to be using it. Kind of hoping I'm not going to need it, but just in case. One hundred star systems? For this, Dovu? I think they're going for more than a hundred, aren't they? Uh, SMG... What's the pistol again? LH-86. sure if that went through or not, but whatever. That's okay. This game already has something I want in No Man's Sky. I want to RP a galactic intergalactic postman. You can also do investigations, I hear, which I'm very interested in. Like special investigation missions. That sounds really awesome. Okay, that did not work at all. There we 
go. Go search for black boxes or find what happened to ships and their crews. Yeah, that sounds really fun. Okay. All your missions are in your Apple Watch, yeah. I'm not worried about that yet. I'm just trying to learn the basics. The next shuttle is approaching the station. Oh, you were t responding to Winters, okay. I should probably look at the missions on stations more often, yeah. Last call for passengers. The, shuttle is the idea, by the way, guys, tomorrow is the long stream of the month. Every month, usually on the last Friday of the month, I Please do a longer stream. Um, that's going to be tomorrow. I'm going to be starting around 8 p.m., so a few hours earlier than tonight. And we're going to be either playing this or No Man's Sky. A lot's going to depend on how this goes today, but I'm also really tempted to just make it No Man's Sky because they do have the new content that just came out and drops are active and all that kind of fun stuff, so we'll have to see how it goes. If this goes well, whether it's tomorrow or not, we're going to play this again soon. Um, I also need to obviously get back and do some more Subnautica Below Zero so we can finish that one off since we're getting closer to completing it for the first time. That would be good. But I'm impressed at how well this is running on stream. I mean, it's not as flawless as it is on, say, Smashly stream or anything. But it seems to be running better than I'd feared it was going to. Modifications are a thing, definitely, Mr. Soggy Ramen. They are, there are a, a frankly impressive amount of modifications available for ships and stuff. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Stand by for platform elevation correction. It's kind of habit for me to just hop out of the shuttle. I forgot we want the next stop, not that one. I am Dova. It is an SSD. I have some external hard drives, but all of the internal drives on this computer, including the game drive, are SSDs. Oh, I don't remember at this point, I run. Approaching next station. If this is your stop, please prepare to disembark. Last call for passengers. The shuttle is preparing to depart. Okay. It's probably a WD, though, of some stripe. I like WD drives. Definitely swapping out weapons, installing gimbals on the weapons to inc increase their effective arc of fire, all that kind of stuff. Lots of things you can do. You can replace your quantum drive, you can improve the cooling systems. If I can successfully take off and fly to another place that's got uh, modification stations, I can show you some of the options you can pick up. 
Don't forget your spacesuit. Am I not wearing a spacesuit? Oh. That's awkward. How do I... Why is that not... The heck. It's not a Samsung. I don't have a Samsung Tegaron, but thank you. Oh. Jeez. Okay. Wow. Survive evac now? Good. I uh, need body armor to have a backpack. Okay, well, I don't want to waste money on getting that right now. I'll show off the ship first. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Vehicle selected. Stand by. If you need it there fast and safe, your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Okay. Please visit us again. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Oh, it was destroyed? What the heck? Your insurance claim has been sent. Um. Delivery time 30 seconds. Well, it's going to take longer Please than that to go again. look at the other ship, so let's not worry about it. Oh, it was six this time. So I haven't even gotten out of the hangar and I've already destroyed my ship. That's fun. It's a new Academy record. Wow. buff out it will you can also buy and sell goods between places like space trucking yes yep so this is the Mustang Omega the ship you can't get anymore so let's go put that away As a big ETS and ATS fan, that sounds really good to you. Oh. I kept thinking I was already in. system. Vehicle selected. Stand by. 
Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Please visit us again. Okay, back to six again. I guess it doesn't actually matter which elevator we use. I appreciate that, Zuzo. I love it when people are helpful, but have the restraint to not try and explain the entire game in the span of 30 seconds. Yeah, man. Really, game? Okay, I could just enter ship, I guess. They genuinely are. See, I like this one because it's got the bed, like I said before. Now we enter the pilot seat of death. Okay, there's supposed to be an in-console button you press to activate everything, right? I had to hit R last time. Ever stub your toe going upstairs? Yes. If you hold F, you can look around. Okay. And I know you can zoom in, too. But I still don't really see a button that screams out, this is what you need to push. I do hope there will be options to simplify the controls to be less simish. I can't remember all these buttons and what they do. You use U and I to boot up systems. R seems to be a flight ready. Okay. Might be around your joysticks. I can't see them. Is there inboard ship lighting that I should have on because it's very dark in here. That sounds more promising than last time. Menu, Horizon Landing Services, Open Com Channel Global. You are powered up now, ready to fly. Once you power up, you'll have some lights. Okay. Yes, that is a little easier to read and see. Okay, that's guns. We probably don't need that here. So let's focus over here. Click the little Wi-Fi on landing services. They will open up for you. Also, I apologize. We do have ads in progress. Hailing Horizon Landing Services. Ah, uh, there we go. So this time when I take off, presumably I won't crash into anything as long as I don't do anything especially dumb. I will wait until ads are done. We're not going to do anything more. So we've got about 20, 25 seconds left. Ten. Okay. So they'll be over in just a moment. What? Winters. 
What the heck, Winters? Thank you so much for gifting Zuzo a sub. I really appreciate that. By the way, is Zuzo an acceptable shortening of your name? How do you prefer to be addressed? I would love to know. Winters, thank you so much. That is so incredibly kind and generous. I really, really appreciate that. That means a lot. Welcome on into the ranks of the lore keeper, Zuzo. Zuzu is fine? Okay. Okay, so uh, the doors are open. I'm probably not going to slam into them this time. Next would be the eye key, I guess. Engines are off. Or not. Engines are off. Okay. Uh, how do I go up just a little bit so I don't scrape the paint on the floor when I go forward? Or do I need to worry about that? Also, I'm curious about these two little icons on my display in the lower left. One looks like some droplets and the other looks like rocks. And they say 80% and 86% respectively. What are those? Space to lift, but be careful, just tap it in. Okay. Old school descent controls. I never actually got that to work. Okay. Okay. Hey, we're flying. Thank you, and please visit again. Okay. Now... How do we clear atmosphere? Is this like No Man's Sky? Do I just keep going up until we're in space? Or do we need a loading screen? Or what's the deal? I haven't the faintest idea yet, Sketchy. This is my first time. Uh, it's going to take a bit to get used to the sensitivity and if it's okay or not, but... Nothing screams problem so far. Go straight up, you'll exit atmosphere eventually. Okay. No loading screens aside from dying, that's handy. Oh, and it's not just constant boost, okay, I see. If I remember right, you need an altitude of 150 kilometers to escape into space there. All right, so we're at, what, 94? We have a ways to go yet. Sounds good, Mr. Zagi Roman. Have a good night. Ah, oh, gotcha. Thank you, Candlejack. Uh, 
what do you mean, Sketchy? How could it not be its own game? All games are their own game. <laughs> no, it's not on Steam. It has its own launcher, if that's what you're talking about. So, um, right away, I'm thinking as far as ship upgrades go, making it faster might not be the worst investment. not normal for all other moons planets you just so happen to pick the one that has the largest atmosphere that's okay it's a really nice environment down there i don't mind and we're almost there i like the sky city idea The combat restrictions of the Armistice Zone, okay, have been lifted. Also the newest, very nice. Okay, so how do I go somewhere else? I assume I can't just point my ship somewhere and expect to get there. Nope. Compasses are in relative terms to the magnetic field of Earth, which means as soon as you're not around Earth anymore, they really have no means of functioning. B to open quantum navigator. Okay. Can you help me find a planet with a shipyard on it where I might be able to get some stuff. Two bars grow quantum spooling calibration when both are full. Hit B a second time. Arc L5. Port Olisar. Crew L4. And what are the different shapes mean arc corp um one mic three sealin Oh, that's okay. I don't need to necessarily buy anything now. I just want to look around and get the lay of the land, so to speak. Diamonds are asteroids, circles are planets, or moons, squares are main ports. Okay. So let's maybe try Port Olasar then. Ah, 
holding. Okay. Oh, that was fast. Now, how do I land? Your destination is obstructed and quantum travel cannot be initiated. You may need to travel somewhere else first to find a clear path. Is this not the station? No, it isn't sketchy. You have to buy a ship or some sort of starter package. But then once you have one ship and you can get in and make some money inside the game, you don't have to buy other ships with real money. They will assign you one. Okay. Am I too far out? Please proceed to assigned landing bay. Okay, what's the assigned landing bay? Is that this blue marker here? N is your landing gear. Circle with the arrow, okay. You are currently under the bay. So is that indicating I have to go to the other side of the station? Or is it, oh, I think I see it. It's that little raised platform right there, so. I'm reasonably okay ish. Just the pad there, yeah. Now, is there an auto land function? There is now. <laughs> There is not! Oh, crap. It's gonna be Elite Dangerous all over again. Uh, okay. How do I... They took it out?! That's so rude. How do I go straight down, then? Control to descend. Thank you. Oh, okay, that's a lot easier than Elite. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. Thank you. Now, now that I have successfully landed for the first time, how do I actually exit the cockpit? <laughs> Thanks, Pilatius. Either hold F and look over your shoulder, or you can simply hold down Y. Um. Okay. That works.
After entering the port, you visit the same fleet services tablet you used to call your ship to the hangar to store your ship. Failing to do so will result in an impound fee. Okay. That would suck. I can see why I need the uh, spacesuit, too. Oh, that doesn't look right. Never leave your ship's door open. People can steal it. Okay. Just double checking. It's not common, but it does happen. this tablet thingy that I use to store my ship. Yarity defense. The oldest part of all star citizen, very nice. You have friends that do that for fun? Center station on the ground floor, okay. Ah, got it. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. So what is there here? Hey, Grogu, what's going on? There are a few stores, okay. Your wife's dad has spent an inordinate amount of money on this game. Interesting. How's it going, Callan, right? No, that's put away, Tagaron. That was stored. Port Olasar has four main stores. That massive red store behind you is just fashion, nothing special. Massive red store behind you.
Dumpers Depot. Hi, welcome to the store. You can also find a defense and an offense store selling guns, ammo, and armor and last dump depot that has a few low-end chip parts. Okay. Vehicle weapons, miscellaneous systems. Artifact fragment. UNE gold ingot damaged. War metal damaged container. 125,000 Okay Does that add capacity to my ship or what's the deal? Let's look at systems Okay, coolers Power plants Just a box you can carry around. Container is such a generic name? Yes, but it's descriptive. You don't have to guess at what it is. You know what it is. It's a container. Storage, but very small. Okay. So I was looking at some components and stuff like that. It seemed to be very similar to the components here when I was uh, on Orison yesterday. How do you, like, can you compare what's in the store to what you've got in your active ship somehow? Select item to view details. Or do you just have to know what you've got? You can't in-game. Ugh. Okay. That's unfortunate. Size 1, grade D. And I guess I can't get my ship stats either, can I? Oh. Cell. So two hydrocell coolers, roughneck power plant. It doesn't give you a lot of detail, does it? Oh, okay, never mind. So it's size one, grade four, grade D industrial class. EOS. That reminds me, I still need to finish Mass Effect Andromeda. Size 1, Grade 3, Quantum Drive. I found it on my own, yep. Every once in a while I do something right. Shield Generator. So the Quantum Drive and the Shield Generator aren't too terrible. And this seems like it's just another one of the same. Paints, don't have any of those. Okay, so I have a gimbal-mounted bulldog. And... Oh, I see. Gimbal mount, then the weapon is on the gimbal mount. Missile rack with two missiles in it. Okay, okay. And I've got space to put additional guns on if I want to. Now, the next question that I have is, uh, we have, let's see, where is it? We have these two cooler units. 
What do those cool? Are they for the weapons? Are they for the ship systems? Are they for everything? Since I've got two, is that really good? Do I have the freedom to upgrade a whole bunch of stuff and then explode the ship if I accidentally overload the cooling systems? Okay, so it works for just about everything. When something is recharging or taking power, it heats up. Okay, that makes sense. A low mass gas giant that features a breathable atmosphere at high altitudes. This was an ideal situation for a ship manufacturer Crusader who now occupies the planet's floating platforms to build massive ships like the Starliner. So that's where we came from. Right, because Stanton. Okay, so let me take a quick look at this here. Our coolers... Oh. Coolers are grade 4D industrial class. Power plant, also industrial grade D. It was the shield generators and the quantum drive that are good. While you're in here, you can click on the Skyline tab, fourth tab in. This will show you Stanton and help you plot courses around the verse. Do not forget to stop for fuel. Oh, that's right. I remember reading something about that. Okay, okay. Can you upgrade your fuel tank? No, Sketchy, I'm afraid. Uh, do I have a mod in chat that can refund that? I'm not doing the jokes. I have to tab out to do them. I don't want to alt-tab if I can avoid it. I mentioned that earlier in the stream, but I don't know that you were here at the time. You cannot upgrade your tank size, but you can upgrade its efficiency. Well, that's... That's a way of roundabout upgrading the tank size for all intents and purposes. Uh, do I not have a mod around? Crap. Well, I would assume it comes at a cost. Some drives go fast but cost a lot. Others are slow but can you get you across the verse. Some are a nice middle. Okay. This sounds like a game that's going to make me create a whole bunch of spreadsheets. That's not a complaint. I kind of enjoy that. Ah, uh, yes. We do have ads in progress, I'm afraid. Size 1 Grade C Class Competition. Your other monitor is literally just spreadsheets, websites, guides, and reminders. <laughs> there are a lot out there already. I like making them, though, is the thing. So if I were to upgrade the power plant, would that improve the power of the engines? Is that how that works? Because I didn't notice any engine improvements. Military grade C. That seems like a big jump in price. And this little A, AUEC, kind of makes me think that that's not actually 3,416 out of my... About, oh, never mind. Actually, it kind of looks like maybe it is. Maelstrom, size 2, so I can't use that one. Size 3, size 0. Size 
is to size one grade C civilian. Right now, power plants only really improve power up time. For instance, when you're turned off and turn on, how long it takes to power up. Also, when you're hit by an EMP, how long it takes to recover from that. Okay. I'm not necessarily thinking of necessarily buying anything right this second, but I'm just kind of trying to get an idea. Shop around and see how it works, yeah. I kind of feel like maybe my money would be better spent getting cargo to move around. Oh, no no problem, Tagarong. Thank you. I appreciate that. So you didn't lose any points there, Sketchy. If I wanted to grab cargo to take it somewhere and try and sell it, how exactly would I go about doing that? Let's maybe do some useful stuff and start increasing the amount of money I have. I didn't really notice the sounds you were commenting on that sounded like the station was shutting anything down. With your ship, it's not a cargo ship outside of doing delivery missions, but I can still take stuff around and do a little bit, right? It does have some cargo capacity, if I'm not mistaken. Not a lot. Like, I won't be doing massive bulk deliveries or anything. I can be space UPS? That sounds perfect. How would I get started doing that? Get your ship and get airborne. You mean, wait. Don't I have to pick up the stuff here first? And how do I top up on fuel? That might also be a thing. Not here, okay. You have to be sitting in the pilot seat. Okay. Oh, airlock. Oh, wow. Oh, so that's literally the planet I just came from? We haven't gone very far, have we?
You can go to your personal info tabs, the eighth tab in public space industries. Enjoy the ride. System check. Okay. Repair. No service required. Refuel. Okay. I'm not sure why I needed repair, but I will trust that I needed repair. A oh, wear and tear on ships. Got it. Okay. Contracts manager. Ling family seeking new contractors, complete delivery order. 5,000, 3,000. Contract availability, 35 minutes. A package I ordered is stuck because of the accident that happened at Gundo. I paid good creds for this and now it's just sitting there gathering dust. Seems to me that if Kovalex isn't going to do anything about it, then I might as well pay someone to find it and take it to Port Olasar Transfer Hub for me. Not sure if there's anything you can do to save some time, but the faster you get the package to me, the better. Isn't this destination where I am right now? Pick up package from aid shelter on Selen. Oh. That doesn't sound good. Pirate has flown too close to the port. Okay. Uh. Wow. Let's just make sure. Hey, I got hit. Yeah, that was one credit of damage. I think I'll survive. <laughs> Technically, I think we can... Seriously? I think we can call that my first space combat. Was that a guy actually sitting on this pad over here? Wow. Contract manager, the general tab is your small get-around missions, or as we like to call, legal missions. The personal tab are more illegal affairs. Okay. Search. Let's take a look at some of this stuff. Salvage claim. That's a lot of money, 11,000. Well, it's not a lot of money, I guess, but it's a lot of money compared to my current total. An inoperable vehicle claim has recently been filed by one of our clients for a freelancer. The vessel was lost while transporting valuable packages of Zeta Prolinide. It's our belief these containers are still intact and as the current property opener, Olympus is eager to attempt to salvage them. Okay, that sounds like it might involve some combat. I'm probably not geared for that yet. Research sounds interesting. Low pay, but what, what's this all about? To further the ICC's understanding of the system, we're hoping to have a research probe deployed to help gather information. After picking the research probe up from Port Olasar, that's convenient, 
You'll be responsible for transporting it to the asteroid surrounding Yella and activating it. Unfortunately, the deployment area has been known to be frequented by hostiles. Okay. Investigation. Up to 10,000. Carson and Meek's investigations were in need of contractors to locate the missing crew of a caterpillar that was recently reported as destroyed. We've been asked to expedite matters and are looking to settle this ASAP. Payment will be issued upon receiving confirmation of the full complement's whereabouts. Maintenance. Had a request come in for disposal services. One of our regulars normally does the stops on this route, but you'd be filling in for them. You'll be expected to properly dispose of the scrap metal after it's been collected either by selling it for processing or some other means. Huh. Bounty hunter? Probably not. Mercenary? Probably not. To delivery. <laughs> Grab and go. There's a clearance sale going down at a dead caterpillar, and the Nine Tails are looking for a runner to grab a box of diamonds and haul it to Brio's breaker yard. This is the perfect gig for someone looking to degreen their rep. Wow. <laughs> Investigations are both fun and easy, but you'll have to do some looking around. I would suggest starting here or in the delivery tab. Okay. Let's maybe try an investigation then, because that's one of the types I've never seen in a game like this before, and I'm very curious about it. Um, Confirm the status of Antoine DeLucci. According to our initial research, it's believed Antoine was serving aboard a caterpillar that befell a tragic accident. A lot of stuff seems to happen to caterpillars. We would require you to travel to the wreck site, conduct an on-site search so that we may determine if Antoine did indeed perish aboard and inform the parents. We would all like to see this matter closed as quickly as possible, and as such, a certain amount of urgency is warranted. Okay, Zuzo. Uh, is it... Where do I add friends in this? Do I have to be at the main menu, or what's the deal? Maybe I should add you and Candlejack. Otherwise, you have to be on main menu. Okay. I like this missing persons report. TriStar Private Intelligence. Okay, so I've accepted that. Now, are these time limited? They were time limited in their offer period, but do, when do I have to have it finished by? I'm wondering if it might be worth it to just head back inside and then put my ship away until all this is over. You have to finish it before you log out. Okay. And what happens if I fail to do that? I don't suppose I can search for a particular member, can I? They just go away? Okay, that's not so bad. So it's very low pressure then.
Well, and here I thought it was getting quieter. Starter missions, nothing happens later on. It hurts your reputation slightly. A weird amount of action around here. Well, the game is getting more popular now that it's becoming more and more playable, isn't it? Ah, here you are. Oh, I didn't want to hail, sorry. Yeah, this looks like more like chat than actually adding people. That sound you're hearing is someone targeting you. Okay. You know what? I'm going to hop out of the ship and put it away. Just give it a few minutes. See what happens. Uh, there we go. Welcome. Please Welcome to the ASOS system. system. Welcome to the ASOS system. Welcome to the doesn't seem to really be working. Please visit us again. Welcome to the ASOP Vehicle Retrieval System. Okay, there we go. Please visit us again. So what are they just hanging around? Sometimes people do that to force people to PvP them. Oh, this is the red store you were talking about. Okay. It's very bright in here. A diva jacket imperial. Nice. Oh, you can get hats. I don't think there were any hats 
back where I was shopping before. Not a huge amount of selection. Oh, I like that, though. That's neat. <laughs> I like the animated shirt. Not enough to buy it, but I think it's cool. Just, you know, the capability of having that. A lot of this is a bit silly. Most RP folk use them as well. A t-shirt doesn't help you in space. No, but it makes you look cool. Or dumb. Either way. I like that they include the vanity options. Come on in, Ra. Uh, we still got people flying around up there, huh? What is this direct message thing? There's, oh, it's only one player? Okay, how do I auto-decline all incoming calls? Oh, that was you, Candlejack? Okay. coming up in about four minutes. I guess if it's only one person flying around. Let's see. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Yeah, the fleet manager interface here doesn't seem to be very reliable. Or maybe it's just this one tablet thing. Now my mouse is locked. Hang on. You retired, turned fire on someone you shouldn't have. Oh no. Hang on, let me see if I can get out of this screen that's holding me captive. Oh, whoa, something went wrong. Ah, server crashed. Okay. Well, I guess rip that whole mission then. Fully exit and relaunch the game? Okay. That's fine, we can do that. It's weird, but it's making me want to get back into Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves is a pretty cool game, too. Uh, 
Actually, before I get into the game, uh, since we do have ads coming up in a couple of minutes and I haven't taken a break all night, maybe this is not a bad opportunity. Maybe I'll take a three and a half to five minute break, grab a bite to eat, and then sign back into the game. Now, my ship was sitting on... Like, oh no, it was in storage. I was trying to retrieve it when I crashed, so never mind. That'll be fine. Okay, so I'm going to take a bit of a break. It was the only game I've played for like half a year. Yeah, Sea of Thieves is fun. I played that a long time ago, and then I went back to it a little bit. I enjoy it. It's pretty good. So guys, I'm going to be back shortly. My breaks are usually about three and a half to five minutes. I might be slightly longer than that, just because I am going to grab a little bit of food. Uh, but I'll be back shortly, and then we'll sign back in and continue. You guys have taught me a lot, though. Thank you so much for all the help. I really appreciate that. Um, where are we here? Okay, so I'll be back shortly, and we will have ads popping up at some point in the next few minutes as well. What? Three nanites for a whole gold nugget? Dude, that's such a ripoff. I'm sorry. Sorry. 16-9 form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Oh boy. By popular opinion, your channel has gifted you 100 tame duck billed platypus. Um. Execute order 66. Oh, good God. You're knocking out achievements too? Oh my God. Hot guard. You're as bad as Piper. My god, stop standing in my line of literal fire. What in the world? This is why you gotta be very careful tossing pebbles into wells. You might accidentally create a volcano.
Thank you, Uthgird. That was perfect. So lucky. Dots, and when they pulled it out, there you were. What is going on in the background there? What was that explosion? What do we got? The amulet of lost voices speak with dead. The dead hold no secrets from Jurgle's Scrivener's of Doom. I love. These oh my god. Oh my god. Scrivener's of Doom is the best title ever. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah! I can't believe I killed it. Oh my god, they just- Oh, <laughs> and it's on fire. Oh, it's a- uh, Wow. The ice cube factory's on fire. You know your city has problems when. Try one more time. <laughs> the Michael Bolton Doug Trio here that we just evolved. Um. Oh, is the body of the dog alerting her, even though I don't have the opportunity to move it? That certainly seems to be her goal. What else have we got here? Oh, how did I miss the donkey head? It's a donkey mask. I don't want to look like a jackass. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. So knock it off. Okay, I'm back. Uh, okay, where's the game? There's the game. Now that I'm actually at the main menu, or, well, I will be in a moment anyway, uh... How do I add you guys? Thank you, Mad. So was it Candlejack 33? Thank you, Mad. Thank you, Zuzu. Thank you, Pilatius. I don't want to send the wrong person. Candlejack, can you confirm? I wonder if Candlejack's maybe not here. Zuzu, what was your name again, unless you don't want it broadcast over my stream? Okay. That'll make it a little easier. I think it's Candlejack33. Seems to be about the only one it could be. I 
I bet if I scroll up, it'll have gone. So that is his name. Just checked your friends list. Thank you. Okay. So I'll probably, st ooh, oh, where am I going to wake up? Am I going to be in my apartment again? Will my ship still be at the other station? This is going to be interesting. I am at my apartment. Oh boy. No, wait. This is not my apartment. Nope, this is still Port Olasar. Okay, all right. Should still be at the port. Interesting. All right. Okay, that simplifies matters. That's cool. California, how's it going? It's good to see you. <clears throat> oh, I don't see anybody, but I guess that doesn't mean a whole lot. They could be at the other end. Okay, so it is still put away. Excellent. Please visit us again. Oh, that's you? Oh, that's cool. Okay. That's early for you. You're not late at all, California. You cannot be late to stream. You get here precisely when you can get here. And that's totally fine. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Please visit us again. B07. So that's the same one it was at last time. This looks so cool. Okay. Okay, yeah, so you're, I see you on the comm channels now. That's cool. Do we know if they're even on the same server that we are this time? They might be gone somewhere. Uh, let's see, we were looking at contracts manager. Investig oh, we have more options now. Investigate wreckage claim. A vessel owned by one of our policyholders has been rendered inoperable, and a contractor is needed to perform the investigation on behalf of Olympus Principal. To determine the specifics of what happened, the flight recorder needs to be recovered from the Yala wreck and delivered to the Port Olisar transfer hub. When approaching the incident site, be on, please be on alert in case dangerous or hostile elements are still present. Crew members missing? Uh, I don't have any that are still valid and accepted, right? No. Okay. That's kind of what I thought. Constellation this time, not a caterpillar. Locate all the missing people so we can give their relatives a little peace of mind. 
Oh, this is basically the same mission as last time. Shiro Bloomberg. It seems to like particular types of ships in batches. Last time it was all caterpillars, this time it's all constellations. And that's 18,000. On behalf of DeShield Appraisal Services. Oh, it took more damage. Okay. Uh, landing services. Presumably I want that one. You are clear to launch. Okay. Um... System off. Nope. Welcome to Robert Space Industries. Enjoy the ride. System check. Okay. So, okay, now let me see. Thank you, and please visit again. Accepted. Last known position. Uh, does it tell me where the last known position is? Oh, hey, Candlejack, welcome back. On pads, you don't have to call to leave. Okay, it should give you a marker. Daryl, oh, okay, so we're going there. And, um, <clears throat> what was the button for the quantum drive again? Was it N? No, that was landing. Shoot. Interaction, modifier. Mining mode. That's another thing I should probably learn how to do. I don't have a ship that can do mining, I don't believe. But I do have a little mining tool attachment thing for my multi-tool. B. Okay, thank you. Obstructed. Space comp scanning you? Oh no. You can, oh, you can use your map. Okay. Um. Oh, whoops. One of these days I'll pick up on this stuff. Where was it? Skyline? Okay, what the heck. Why do I take it that's not a good sign? 
F2. Yeah, okay. This might not be the best night for Star Citizen, I'm starting to think. This is the most you've seen in a month? Well, I mean, yeah. If they're getting increasing numbers of people playing, and I'm evidence that they are, then it's probably stressing their systems more than usual. So, okay. I kind of had a feeling that was coming as soon as it wasn't working properly. Uh, that's okay. Let's give it another shot and see. If it gets really bad, I can always switch and we can take a look at some No Man's Sky. They just released their big update and made a bunch of changes and there are drops people can collect and all sorts of stuff. Gord drives people to games. It's I do have a pretty impressive record of convincing people they need to play whatever I'm playing. They Oh, they use the same hardware for the test universe? Wow. They are ambitious then. Okay, it's loading up. I won't go on my rant about how they carry out their own game. Yeah. Yeah. I actually wor used to work in the, uh, the game industry, so I... Kind of, I understand. Even without hearing the rant, I know more or less the gist of what it must be. 12 years and half a billion dollars, yep. Though for 12 years and a project of this scope, half a billion dollars? That actually seems a bit on the cheap side. This is taking a while again, isn't it? Well, escape is not bringing up the menu. Huh? Well, okay. I guess we're good.
Open Space Industries. Enjoy the ride. System check. Okay. Oh, why is that asteroid still packed out in red? It's interesting that it remembers I was looking at that. I don't know, Sketchy. That's a good question, Zuzu. Do you ever have to manage oxygen? I don't get the impression that you do. Except... Thank you, and please visit again. Oh, it's on the other side of the planet. Crap, okay, I got it. I probably should have done this before taking off, but we'll do it quickly now. Let's look at our investigation potentials. Shino Haskell, freelancer that was reported destroyed. Payment will be issued on receiving confirmation of his whereabouts. Okay. that the planet was between me and it, Tyra. Alright, what was the button to increase my allowed speed? Mouse wheel, thank you. Five hundred kilometers away? Okay. How would you suggest I get there efficiently then? Now do I just hold B again? Do I have to be aligned on it, or what's the deal? That is the moon. Um. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, okay. Thank you. That's exactly what I needed. Derelict site. Okay, so maybe security post Tharkway or Thark Array. Seventy five kilometers seems better. How close is close? I'll approach the derelict site from the other side. Oh, uh, apologies. We seem to have ads in progress, too. This part reminds me so much of No Man's Sky. Restricted area doesn't sound good. Okay, so you're following along. Good to know, thank you. Slammed into a moon during a box run. Luckily, I survived, but lost a main engine on your way back to repair the ship. The one engine I had that still worked exploded, so you were forced to land your ship with just its maneuvering thrusters. Oh, boy. seem to be stopped. That's weird.
Okay, we're getting there. This really kind of reminds me of No Man's Sky with the close planetary flying and everything. Sorry about the ants there, folks. Well, it looks like we're coming up on it. That's okay, we're not that far from the station. Not. Oh, good. are gone now? Okay. Next question, I guess, is how do I use my multi-tool? Do I have to actually go around scanning stuff? I don't know. I think so, Candlejack. <laughs> it's possible I may have lost my multi-tool. And possibly my weapon, too. Okay. So that wasn't him.
I don't see any other bodies. I guess there's this one. Interesting. That bug is more rare. Okay. Where's that, Zuzo? Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was <laughs> wasn't actually what I had in mind. Where is Orison from where we are? Another one out front. Oh man, they actually, they can be a little ways away, can't they? So will that update when I've completed the objective? I guess I'll see, hopefully. It should when you find who you're looking for, okay. I am. At least I'm selecting the option. It's not actually really doing anything about it. That's a search. Maybe I have to be closer to them. Uh. <sighs> 
Ah, there we go. That was him. Contract complete. Oh, well, that was it. So I find the body and I just automatically get paid. You gotta love that. You've found up the nine crew, the ninth being your target? Well, that makes sense. If one of the first eight was your target, why would you continue searching? Yep, that's why I took it, Sketchy. That's why I took it. Um, okay, so now I've got 36,000. So that's not too bad. You can make a little bit of money doing investigations. That's pretty fun. I hope they add more investigation missions. Now, just so that I know how to do it, let's see if I can get back to my home dock uh, on, what's it called? This is going to be the one thing that's a little bit heartbreaking about Starfield is that Bethesda's already said they didn't care about making it a smooth transition from space to atmosphere when you go to land on a planet. There's going to be a load screen. That's going to be painful. I think they probably missed the mark on that one. Okay. live again <laughs> crusader crusader oh am i still what i can't be here i've only gone that far wow So I I haven't even left the planetary region, let alone... Wow. <laughs> Each mission genre changes over time. Some investigations will only show up around certain planets or moons, and others won't show up until you've done enough of them, raising your reputation as a trustworthy freelancer. That's cool, though. I like that. So I've gone to the equivalent of maybe the moon, and that's it. Okay, so that's comma ray. We don't want that. That's where we want to go. No, wait, Port Olisar is not where I want to go, is it? That's not where I live. Squares are always space stations. Yeah, I don't want to be here. I want to go back to the planet. It's above the city. Okay. Do I just have to fly there manually? Oh, 
I thought it was that they're really good at hiding in trees. Maybe I'm wrong about that. You'd be looking for a pentagon. Okay. California. Actually, I can't do that at the moment. I have to tab out. Tagarung, I don't suppose you're still around. Can you maybe uh, refund that? No, good luck finding the spaceport. Yeah. an idea or two about how to do that. just points at Crusader. It doesn't actually point at the spaceport. That puts a bit of a crimp in my so-called plan. Huh. Yeah, I think I accidentally t uh, pinged earlier. God, there's a lot of stuff here. control to wherever your max speed meter is set to. You can also press right shift to pitch lock yourself to whatever angle you're currently facing. Once set, you can sit back and enjoy the ride upward and outward. That'll be good for taking off. I'm not sure I would really want to use it now when I'm approaching the city and I don't know precisely where I'm going. What is that? What's that icon there?
That wouldn't happen to be where I'm going, would it? Oh, that's another ship. Okay, I don't want that then. They warn you at 75%? That was my plan, Candlejack, to use B and see if I could get a lock on where exactly I need to go. That kind of makes it look like I want to go there. like a brain cell off your starboard side. I don't think I should, Dova. I think I should get a handle on the basics before I plan any particular journeys. I think I've got enough to learn as it is. <laughs> That's the spaceport right here, hopefully. Nearing restricted area. Uh, this is one of the hardest spaceports to find. Actually, that's a good thing, Candlejack. If it's one of the hardest to find, then if I can actually learn it, I'll be good no matter where I go. Off to your right. Oh, you mean over here? That's it? Okay. When I get close, I could always kind of... Well, I must be getting pretty close. Sign landing bay. Uh, okay, I want to tell me where that is. <laughs> That's the other ship, I think. Yeah, I'm looking for the marker. The only marker I see, though, is for the other ship. Oh, hang on. There 
we are. The ship's really wanting to roll now. Bad they don't have tractor beams. Whoa! No! No, 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 no! What on earth is it doing? How do I turn that off? Thank you. I guess I got some repairing to do. Oh. <laughs> landing gear deployed. I gotta remember to landing gear before landing. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. <sighs> Let's fix the damage. Uh, probably not California. 100%. Although it is possible, I suppose. I think it depends on what time they start at. And it, there's also a little bit of customization you can do. You can put in a certain number of minutes of delay before they start, when you start streaming, etc., etc. Got it. Okay, thank you, Candlejack. Thank you, Zuzu. <laughs> Okay, I did it. I found the impossible spaceport. That actually wasn't all that bad. I could see that being horrifically confusing if you guys had not been helping, though. Keyboard and mouse Dova. A good 20 minutes trying to find it? Yeah, I believe it. Oh yeah, I was using that, Dova. Welcome to the ASOP Vehicle Retrieval System. All right. Store that one for the time being, and we're gonna go shopping. What's Not that I imagine I can afford a whole lot again. Curious about the history of but that's really cool. That worked great until you came here at night. Oh no. I believe that though. That's kind of scary. Uh, where did they hide the shuttle? Oh wait, this is the spaceport. Right. There was a whole elevator sequence.
The spaceport has different lights than the rest of the city? Oh, that's cool. I think I need to go shopping again. I have a feeling that when I blew myself up, I lost the stuff I was carrying. Luckily, I didn't spend a fortune on getting all kinds of crap, but Last even so. The shuttle is preparing to depart. Um, Skyway Shuttle Cloud View Station, that's perfect. Dova, that's cool. Alright, I think, let's see, that's where I live, that's, right, that's the showroom. We need the store. Maybe you can get the job with RSI, yes, maybe. They are going to need a lot of people to realize the entirety of their vision. Oh, wait, this is not the one. I recognize that. Learn how to build your own game using Blender. Interesting. What are you going to use as the engine for the game? I think we actually want to go over to the other platform. You're kidding, Dova. That's the first I've ever heard of that. Isn't it just a 3D modeling program? The next shuttle is approaching the station. Last call 
for passengers, the shuttle is preparing to depart. Please clear the hatch. Shuttle will be departing. Blender as a game engine. I would never have imagined. It's been an experience, Vikings. It feels like I traveled so far, but it turns out I've basically not gone any farther than the moon of this planet that I live on. But I did manage to earn some money doing an investigation skill, which was pretty fun. I'm not exactly rich, but I have more money than I started the game with, so I'm happy about that. Approaching next station. If this is your stop, please prepare to disembark. Last call for passengers. The shuttle is preparing to depart. That seems to be putting it mildly, Vikings. <laughs> it's huge. I love it. It's great. We're definitely going to play this from now now and then. It's really making me really, 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 really want... Uh, what's it called? The... Um, I don't think it's this way. I want the Squadron 42 stuff. That's going to be phenomenal. And it's only one star system out of a hundred. It still boggles my mind that they're only doing a hundred star systems. I thought they had a much bigger, grander plan than that. I mean, not that that's a complaint. A hundred, that's actually still quite a few star systems. If they're done like this, that's a lot. And that's going to be well worth it. I'm thinking more in terms of, like, Starfield and No Man's Sky, where they have a hundred systems, but they're probably mostly procedurally generated. They don't really seem to be doing as much of the broader procedural generation in this. Elite Dangerous gives you the entire Milky Way galaxy, Dova. Not that there's a whole lot of point to seeing it. They all tend to be kind of samey. Uh, this is all the vehicle stuff, right? Oh, I can't quite afford a Spectre. That's a shame. <laughs> that would have been nice. A size 1 grade A stealth drive would be pretty fun. The Spectre can't make your ship invisible, but it comes close. Expertly crafted by ramp, this quantum drive disperses heat and hides IR and EM signatures to make it a great small component for those that want to go unnoticed. Just learned how to fuel scoop in Elite? Yeah, I remember I used to do that. Fuel scooping was pretty fantastic. Okay, um... Right. You burned yourself up a lot, Scooping. 
I'm sorry to hear that. Where the heck is the shopping kiosk? Do they not have a computerized kiosk for this one? Where's the screen? Give me your screen, guys. Or do you just... Oh, was that it? That doesn't look like it. Trading and shipping? I guess we could try it. Oh, I guess you're right. Okay. They don't really tell you much about these things, do they? Aerial Core Hazard, Mac Flex Core... MacFlex Core Rucksack. Wow, that's an expensive rucksack. What the heck? Oh, no, that's the... Never mind. That's the price. That's the SKU. Right. Okay. Took a look in the star map is huge. Yeah. Yeah, I thought I was traveling a fair distance away, and then it turns out I've barely left the vicinity of the planet. Yeah, I like this game quite a bit. Aside from the one minor incident where there was a guy hovering around the station I was at, buzzing and shooting up stuff, and cost me a whole credit to repair my ship, and fun stuff like that. Okay, so this is the MacFlex Errol Core, MacFlex Core. Okay, I just want to see what they look like on the mannequins, I guess. Horizon helmet. Okay, so that's the the MacFlex Core rucksack one. All employees, please remember that any visitors to restricted areas must be pre-cleared with ops. This is for you and you guests' safety. Thank you. Oh, that's the MagFlex Core. Okay, that's probably the one I wanted. Actually, if that's the case... The yellow looking armor over there is a good medium armor? Okay. I'm just, honestly, I'm picking this one because it looks cool. <laughs> Okay. Hey Ben, how's it going? I'm liking it so far. It looks pretty good. Oh, 
I don't think that set there that I got was too terribly expensive. I need to replace my multi-tool now, though. <laughs> no, it's okay, Ben. I would prefer to learn how to make money so that I'll never have to worry about it, even after a reset and all that kind of thing. It makes more sense to me to do it that way. I appreciate the generosity. I just worry that it would kind of sort of hold me back in the long run. That is pretty cool, Dova. I like the sound of that. Okay. I think we're done here. That's true, but I, I don't know, I just really enjoy the sort of the longer, slower process at times. Sometimes a shortcut is good, but there's something, I, I enjoy the exploration factor of these games a lot, and that's kind of part of that for me. Wandering Sailor, I'm doing good. How are you doing? Just kind of getting my feet wet a little bit in uh, Star Citizen. I think we want the lower platform. Attention. This platform will be undergoing routine elevation correction momentarily. You may notice some slight movement and vibration during this maintenance operation. Please use caution while the platform is in motion. Secure any belongings and keep a safe distance from the edge. You keep yourself you. broke for just that reason? Very nice. At work Connect killing time on Twitch? Yeah. Station. It's nice that you have a job where you can do that. That makes things a lot Stand easier. For platform elevation crash call for passengers. The shuttle is preparing to depart. The next shuttle is approaching the station. That is Last awesome. For passengers. The shuttle is preparing to depart. What do you do, if I may ask? In general terms, or whatever you're departing. comfortable with. Platform elevation correction. The next shuttle is approaching the station. You are now free to proceed as normal. Thank you, and have a great day. I love the shuttle system on this planet. This is a fantastic planet. I really think I like my choice in uh, settling here for now. Now, does it actually elevate? Or is that just a d bit of dialogue they put in? Like, I'm talking about the correction that they were talking. Do they actually correct the elevation, or is that just... just a thing that they put in? Bartending, waitering, now you're working in data entry from home. Oh, that's awesome. Your feet and back are thanking you every day. Yeah, that's the kind of... that. That's really awesome. That's a, I've done that kind of work before. It's pretty good. Especially, like, I never got to work from home doing it. This was a long time ago. If you can do it from home, that's amazing. That's really awesome. 
Okay, where are we? I think that's my house there, my apartment. Right, okay, I know where I am. Now, Smart can buy. you store stuff, like if I bought an extra pistol, could I stash it on board a ship and not have to worry about losing it, or, well, you know, unless maybe I lose the ship, stick it in my apartment or something like that, or is it basically just replace your gear if you die? You can store it in local inventory at a planet or station. Okay, good to know. I'm not going to worry about it with any of this stuff, because this is all just really cheap stuff. So it turns out that I didn't lose my stuff after all, and I've just bought extras, so maybe I should stash some of it. Bring back the personal hangers from early game? What do you mean? What? What? How was it different than what's available now? Is it three o'clock already? Back in 2.5, every time you bought a ship, it came with a personal hangar module you could run around in. Weren't they talking about giving us something like that with apartments? That would be interesting. to talk about how many I have. Wow. I don't know what Grim Hex is. Ah, then I'm not going there, Dova. <laughs> I'm not going there. A wretched hive of scum and villainy. Kegelflat, how's it going? Welcome on in. 
We have that starting in about a minute and a half, guys. I apologize, and I appreciate all of you who actually watch the ads. I know the ads on Twitch suck. They get really annoying to me as well, but it, it helps the channel enormously. Please clear the hatch. Shuttle will be departing. should be starting soon. Things are going pretty good, Giggleflat. Thank you for asking. I hope you've had an excellent night. Uh, just kind of getting my feet wet in Star Citizen, venturing out beyond the planet I live on a little bit. That kind of fun stuff. It's been a lot of fun so far, and it's a beautiful game. Alright, Zuzo, thank you so much for all of your help. I really, really appreciate it. Have a fantastic night. Thank you for keeping an eye out. Approaching next station. If this is your stop, please prepare to disembark. This one... I don't think this is where Last we wanted to go, is it? The shuttle is preparing to depart. No, we want to go to the spaceport this time. Please clear the hatch. Shuttle will be departing. I will try, Zuzo. I will try. Probably a good time to remind folks, actually. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be starting stream a lot earlier than usual. Normally I start at around 11 p.m. my time. For reference, right now it's just a few minutes after 3 a.m. my time. So 11 p.m., just take whatever time it is for you and subtract four hours. But uh, tomorrow I will be starting at 8 instead of 11. So eat three hours even earlier. Go there. Providing connection. Last I'm still not entirely certain what I'm going to end up playing tomorrow. I am vaguely tempted to play a little bit more Star Citizen, but I'm also... I I'm kind of wanting to ease into this a little bit. Plus, I want to check out the new stuff that they've added to No Man's Sky. So I'm kind of leaning a little bit more towards checking out some No Man's Sky tomorrow. And there will be drops for those of you that play No Man's Sky. If you haven't already gotten them, you'll be, I think, able Welcome to get them on my to channel. The ASOP vehicle retrieval system. I'll probably tackle the new expedition they have going. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Okay, let's Your see if I can do this. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Please visit us again. 
Plus, we can have more ships now, right? right that, oh, pfft, right. Helps if you choose the right location. Why is the door already open? The heck? I mean, that makes it easier for me, but even so. Investigations? What the heck? No. Imperial Cartography Center. We have a probe waiting at Port Olasar to be collected. You will then transport and deploy the probe at the asteroid surrounding Yella. Uh, I don't want to do that. Um, an inoperable vehicle claim has recently been filed by one of our clients for a caterpillar. The vessel was lost while transporting valuable packages of Zeta Prolum. It is our belief those containers are still intact, and as the current property owner, Olympus Principal is eager to attempt to salvage them. We're seeking professionals to handle this operation on your behalf. Okay, time limited. I don't know about that one. 3,000, 5,000... Private investigator wanted. Immediate need for experienced, discreet private investigator near Crusader to look into an insurance matter. Flat rate, no expenses, start date will be as soon as possible. Sufficient evidence must be submitted in order to complete the contract. <laughs> you could stick with the star theme and play Stardew. I don't know if that really sticks with the theme, Tagarung. But I could. And I probably should play Stardew again at some point. Did you ever play Freelancer or Wing Commander? Chris Roberts' early games before he founded Roberts. Oh, yes. Yes, I was a big fan of Wing Commander 1 through 3. Not sure if I ever played 4, but I absolutely adored Wing Commander Privateer. Starbound? Nah. I don't need pri uh, I don't need Starbound. Bit of backstory on this one. Some random scav has been going around claiming that they offered a big time hitter by the name, um, they offed a big time hitter by the name of Govinda Carullo. Claims they caught Go Govinda right in the middle of pulling a job. Now, the thing is, if Govinda is really dead, well, that creates complications for the Nine Tails. After some very careful negotiations from yours truly, they've coughed up some creds to pay someone to go out and verify that Carollo is actually dead. Just need to go to the wreckage, find the body, and confirm. Of course, if the bastard is still alive, then, well, let's just say you should go in ready for anything. Eh, I don't know. Looking for something a little low pressure. Where do I find my status? Complete work for an organization or contact to earn reputation. What do you mean zero search results? 
Shouldn't I have a little bit of reputation at least for completing a, my first job? Wow. Always down for Stardew, probably number two game on your list of faves. Yeah. We're not actually going to do Stardew tomorrow, though. I'm annoyed that there are no investigation missions, unless I go here. These don't seem as fun. We were talking earlier about box run missions. How do you do those? Like, literally just moving stuff from one place to another place and getting paid for it. Use the Create Beacon button above to create a new contract. What? Let's see. I'm gonna poke around a little bit. No, I don't think that's the one. I mean, maybe, but... I thought there was a different type of them. They don't have a search here, do they? Different planets have different missions available, yeah. How do I find another planet? Like, literally, how do I search and find this Gundo planet that was mentioned? Gundo. Hoping you could go out to Gundo and grab my order for me. I mean, I guess... Let's try it. Uh, it looks like it might be on Daymar. Gundo, okay. So it's not a planet.
You are clear to launch. suppose I can just go directly from atmosphere, can I? Thank you. And please visit again. Nope. Exit atmosphere. Got it. straight up out of the atmosphere. It's true. So if I want to make my ship a bit faster, which component do I look at upgrading then? I think we've established it's not the power plant. I guess it would be the... I mean, you can upgrade the quantum drive, but that's not going to do sublight, is it? I'm not necessarily looking for the best, I just want, you know, what, what's the type of thing that I should do to make the ship faster at sublight. Can't change thrusters, okay. That's a shame, that's, I would have thought that'd be an obvious thing you'd want to increase. Come on. Why am I slowing down? What's going on? Come on. Okay, what the heck? Why am I not going anywhere?
One of these days, we'll get out of here. Eventually, yes. Eventually. Come on. It's like it stalls out. It's very irritating. I think this is maybe the only thing I really don't like about living on this world. It's actually difficult to get away from. Yeah, it's understandable. And honestly, even with the current 150, it's still worth it for the views. Kovalex Shipping Hub Gondo, okay.
<laughs> uh, yeah. We suffered a little bit of a mishap. I need to get in the habit of making sure that my speed is set to a reasonable amount so that I don't warp speed into a station. Med has automatically restored your health, cleared any active medications, and reset your BDL. How dangerous do you think hippos are? They result in more deaths than you would imagine. They are extremely dangerous. You'd never, ever, ever want to mess with a hippo. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. A flight suit and helmet have been placed in your local storage. Okay. Uh, how do I get out of here? Thank you, Tagarung. If someone would have had hiccups for three months, is that normal? No, it's not. Hey, I wonder if I'm lucky and maybe I didn't die in an explosion. Three months? No, that is not normal. It has happened. People have had hiccups for a lot longer than that, but it's not the usual. Okay. So clearly the game has decided to give up the ghost. Oh, hang on. I was going to force quit, but now we're back at the menu. So I need to quit out completely, and then we'll get it going again. One minute warning, guys. We'll, we're going to have ads starting very, very shortly. I apologize and appreciate very much those of you that actually watch the ads. They do help the channel a ton, so hopefully that's at least some small consolation. On the plus side, there's a very good chance at this point that uh, the ads will be running while I'm still trying to get back into the game, so it may not be the worst timing ever. Have a great night, Vikings. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. I will catch you again soon. Just a reminder to everyone, especially those who are heading out, I will be doing my long stream of the month tomorrow. I will be starting at 8 p.m. my time, uh, which is roughly eight hours ago. Uh, it would have been 8 p.m., like probably closer to 7.30, but you know. If you take off seven and a half hours from whatever time it is right now, that's when I'll be starting. Current plan, right now, I'm leaning mostly, yeah, most strongly towards playing No Man's Sky tomorrow. There is some chance that we might come back in here and doing a, do a little more Star Citizen, but uh, I'm kind of leaning towards No Man's Sky because of the new release and because uh, there's all the drops and stuff like that. I think that'll be a good time. And then um, Saturday... I will be streaming, and I will be right now leaning towards some more Subnautica Below Zero, because we're, we're, we've we're got to be getting close to the end of that one. I mean, I know there's still a fair bit to do in that, and uh, we haven't even begun 
building the artificial body construct yet for reasons I will leave unspoilered, but uh, you know, we've got a lot of the information we need. We've made a lot of progress and we do want to finish it. Hey, would you look at that? Oh no. I'm still wearing my medical clothing. Damn it. <laughs> oh, what have I got? Beacon undersuit white. Oh, right. Take this off first. I've got my Horizon helmet, at least. Damn, all my nice armor is gone. I've still got both of my multi-tools, at least. Oh, well. That means I probably have to restore my ship as well. Oh, crap. That means we have to spend all that time getting out of atmosphere again, too. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, shoot. Damn it. This is the wrong platform. It's like I said earlier in the stream, it's just kind of my automatic habit to hop out. Just walk to the, the next stop. Yes, I will do that.
honestly a little tempting, Ben, but at the same time, I genuinely do like living here on this planet. Oh, uh, please do not sink me through the platform. That would be bad. The next shuttle is approaching the station. Last call for passengers. The shuttle is preparing to depart. I love how it literally pulls up to the platform and then Please within a the second, Shuttle. it's last call for passengers. They have a very strict schedule to keep. They do. They do. Please enjoy your flight. It's just a good thing they don't have a big commuter rush to deal with at any point. I noticed the giant hangers notice earlier so that I didn't have to spend four hours searching. Because that's convenient. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. <sighs> Your insurance claim has been sent. Okay. Visit us again. Goodbye. That's my ship claimed. I don't know if I have it in me to make the climb out of the atmosphere again tonight. We're getting too close to four o'clock, and it's too easy to get myself murdered brutally. So I think maybe we'll do a scenic tour back the way we came to my apartment and then find somebody to raid. I think we're done making money for tonight. We made a little bit of money. I have more than I started, I believe. Let me check on that, actually. I think, yeah, I've still got more than I... I had, like, 25k when I started. So I'm about 5k up. Not exactly rolling in money, but uh, I have enough to afford some smaller upgrades to the ship if I want them, but I'm not going to. I'm going to keep making money first. Just not tonight, I think. <laughs> uh, okay, where is this one going? Oh, that's cool. I like that this one tells you when the thing is... Now, 
where's this one going? Cloud view center. That one's going back to Providence platform. Well, so much for the scenic route. I guess this is just where we're going there. Now, where's that one going? Oh, you know what? I've never been to tourism platform. Let's go there. When is this one arriving? This one might not actually be operational yet. Vision Center. Yeah, I think the tourism platform maybe isn't working yet. Not crashing helps, it does help. That's true. But that's one of the things I need to learn, not crashing. I'm pretty good at crashing. It's the not crashing bit that's tricky. The shuttle is preparing to depart. Please clear the hatch. Shuttle will be departing. How are you doing, TNMAR? I thought TNMAR more meant the server's not crashing. Well, I mean, honestly, both of them are equally important. Trying to wake up after the cat convinced me it's time for breakfast. Her breakfast. <laughs> well, we've had problems with both, TNMAR, in fairness. We've had a few server crashes. And we've also had a few ship crashes. Last call for passengers. The shuttle is preparing to depart. Bad actors don't need to find ways to crash the server. It does it itself periodically. At Orson Skyway Shuttle Service, we aim to make getting there half the fun. Please enjoy your flight. I have not crashed a ship into the servers. How are you doing, Haggis? in my apartment. Oh, that, okay, that might not be my apartment. Great, now I don't remember where I live. Maybe it was seven. You don't technically have a room, you just log out in the city station and will spawn there next time you log in. 
Man, they can't even give you the illusion? Okay, fine. There's water from, like, from the sky and the clouds are loud. I've been living in California so long that this is no longer... No longer soothing Ishtar time sounds. Oops, nope. Well, maybe I'll go replace my pistol. Again. You'll pull through this, Haggis. Just gotta remember that it's a good thing. It's free water falling from the sky. Exactly, Tianmar, and therefore to be celebrated. It's probably acid rain. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. But still. Well, they have these two. The figures that I'm only just a noticing that now. So that goes to Providence platform. Where does this one go? Oh, this... I didn't realize this was a freaking direct line to the spaceport. Okay, I need to get in the habit of using this one more often then. This is usually where I'm going. Because this is basically pre-alpha TNMAR, you can't expect all of the niceties. Besides, we're in orbit over, well, not really in orbit, we're sort of flying in the atmosphere of a gas giant. The farther you are from the core, the lower the gravity is, so maybe they just want to get a little bit of extra distance. The next shuttle is approaching the station. Serious question, is there a better superhero than Burnt Face Man? I'm not familiar with Burnt Face Man, so I'm going to guess that possibly yes. I mean, it's an entirely subjective question, right? Better by what standard of measure? 
by relative strength, by relative speed, by relative morality, by relative healing factor. I mean, you gotta get a little more specific there. Better in what way exactly? Providing connections to all major platforms. Crusader Industries all right, guys. is to offer free I think, though, to all visitors aboard the Orson Station. By your standards. Have a pleasant stay. I don't know that I necessarily have standards to make such a judgment. My mind immediately splinters off into a million different standards by which they could be judged. I would need more information about the prospective better superheroes and the superhero that I'm not actually familiar with. So, I have no idea. And I need to wrap up the stream. So, I think what we're going to do is probably quit back to the menu. And then we'll find somebody awesome to raid. You're on a gas giant. Yes, yes, Diedmar. That's why you have to get so far out and why they're going to bring that back a bit so you don't have to go quite so far out. It is a long trip to get out of the atmosphere, but it's a really beautiful planet to live on, so I don't really necessarily mind. Your quest must continue. I am sorry I couldn't be more help. But have a fantastic night, Jack Luminous, and thank you so much for stopping in. Now, let me bring my list of awesome people up. I know I'm ending slightly early. It's actually not as early as I thought it was going to be. It took a little longer than I expected to go and fix up my pistol situation. Let's see who we've got online. Okay. Greeny is on. We're probably going to go visit Greeny. He's continu Oh, he's not continuing. That's right. He switched out. He's playing Octopath Traveler 2, and uh, he did a playthrough of Octopath Traveler, which looked fantastic and convinced me that I am probably going to need to play those games as well myself at some point soon. So uh, I wouldn't mind checking that out and finding out what his impression is. He did also do a stream a little while ago, uh, the other week, of Octopath Traveler 2's demo, but the demo only lets you play so far, and then you have to stop. And so now that he's got the full game, he should be able to continue. But we don't know whether he decided to continue or if he opted to go with a different hero. So I think there are several other people on that I like to raid, but they're playing the game that must not be named tonight. So I think we're going to go with Greeny. All right, folks. This was a lot of fun. It, it's... Clearly still early days, but I'm really impressed at how well the game ran while I was streaming it. So I'm very, very happy about that. Oh, is Greeny just going on a break? That's hilarious if he's just going on a break right now. That's okay. We'll raid him and surprise him. Oh, is it DNMR? Okay, yeah, I was hearing that it was crackling a little bit earlier too. Luckily, it seems to only be the main menu, so let me quit out of the game, and that should put a stop to that. And we'll get a raid going to Greeny. Hopefully, that's put a stop to it. I appreciate that, Ben Smash. I really do. I don't know that I want it, though. I want to get the, you know, I want to get in the habit of learning things the hard way so that I'm never... Yeah, he's just gone on a break. That's okay. We'll meet him when he gets back. And he might even stop in when he hears that a raid has come in and uh, see what's going on and then continue with what he's doing. So, um, yeah, we're going to go read Greeny Trini. Plus, it does usually take me a couple minutes because I let the clips run while the raid counts down. So we'll go through our rigmarole and uh, we'll see if we can catch him close to when he returns. So we're going to raid Greeny Trini. I can type. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I got that correct. And I will get you guys the raid call. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel if you are a sub. If you are not a sub, you can use the Twitch Raid and the Tomb Raid emotes. 
In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own, if you have emotes from another streamer, maybe if Twitch has some emotes you'd like to use, feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's get over to Greedy Treaty's channel, see how Octopath Traveler 2 is treating him, see what decision he made. Did he go with the same, uh, you know, kind of... Um, I want to say he was more of a magician type last time, or if he decided to go a completely different direction and take one of the other characters. I, I'm curious, so I would like to know. So we're going to go over, find out more about that. As for tomorrow's stream, tomorrow is the long stream of the month for February. And uh, we are, I would say, about 80% likely to play some No Man's Sky tomorrow. I think that's what we're going to end up doing. So I hope you guys are ready for that. If you are No Man's Sky players yourselves, then usually the way it works is uh, drops should be enabled as long as that's still going on tomorrow, and I believe it will because the update only dropped the other day. Uh, so hopefully you'll be able to get some drops by hanging out in my channel, and we'll just check out the new content, try the new expedition, and see what all is going on there because it actually has been quite a while since I played No Man's Sky. I think... I skipped an entire major update that they did for it, so we're overdue. Let's get back into that. Ultra, you're here for the raid. I'm so sorry. How are you doing this evening? Ultra, thank you so much. It's so good to have you. 39 freaking months. Oh, I'm still hearing a little bit of crackle in the audio. Maybe Star Citizen is not the best for my audio situation, but oh well it'll even itself out. Got to at least see you for a sec. I got some good clips tonight, Ultra. I ran into some issues where I managed to spectacularly crash my ship. Plus, I will have the VOD uploaded and everything, so if you want to check it out, I live on a pretty spectacular planet where it's like just a giant gas cloud. It's like a gas giant planet, and the city hovers in the atmosphere. And so you have to take shuttles everywhere to get to all the different platforms where stuff is in. It's really spectacular and gorgeous. The only downside is the gravity is immense. And so it actually takes quite a few minutes to launch your ship and break atmosphere so that you can actually quantum drive out of there and go anywhere else. Oh, thank you, Tagarun. Yes, there's uh, there's one of my there's one of my clips. So that was fun, but. I had a lot of fun with it. Star Citizen is really early days. There were a few server crashes, but it was a really good time, and I will definitely be playing it again, and it will probably become part of the regular rotation. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go visit Greeny and see how Octopath Traveler is treating him. So uh, you've already got his link. You've got the raid call. Let me just... the raid call myself there it is all right guys so i'm gonna start the raid thank you so much for being part of the stream tonight i really appreciate all of you for hanging out and i will catch you again real soon and let me just restart that so uh yeah have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night day evening whatever it is where you are in the world and i'll catch you again real soon bye for now okay now earthgird we all know your history with these pressure plates. You're gonna be careful, right? No, she's not gonna be careful. <sighs> you could at least be uncareful without actually just standing directly on it. Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. 